Now, after weeks of political struggles in Rivers State, the local governments of now now have executive officers in place. Now, let's have that conversation with Marvin Yobana, who is the Africa Representative World Assembly of Youths and a public affairs analyst. Good evening, Mr. Yobana. Good evening, and thank you for having me. Absolutely. Now, I'd like to put this straight to you. The local government election in River State is that a fair representation of the will of the people of the state, given the turnout of the polls and the parties that, that triumphed at the polls? Uh, well, that is a very... Uh, it is uh, something that we can say. Let me just call it a celebration of true democracy. For the first time in River State, we've witnessed a free and fair election conducted by RISEC without the Nigerian police getting involved. And yet, the people came out all out in mass and ensured that there was no incident that could mere the process. And elections took place peacefully. Uh, the coalition took place peacefully. And results were announced and declared. And winners emerged. And you see, this has demonstrated that uh, the governor, Sir Similaye Fubara, has set the precedence for other electoral bodies in the country, like the INEC, to emulate what RISEC did. Despite the intimidation, despite the, the gang up by some judicial uh, 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 offices and some politicians to, to truncate that process, to ensure that the third tier of government, which is the most critical uh, aspect of government, we cannot elect our representatives. It was something that Nigerians were worried and you can look around and see how Nigerians are happy that at the end of the day, it came out peacefully and everything happened in the way that the people wanted it. I can tell you that it's a true representation of the will of the people in River State. And I want to commend the people of River State for saving democracy in this state, for ensuring that no one godfather or nobody sits down somewhere in Abuja to dictate to the people of the grassroots who will be their leaders who will be at the helm of affairs at the local government level. So I say it's a victory, total victory for democracy, and it has, it has set the precedence for the, the national electoral body to copy and follow suit. We don't actually need Nigerian police to, to conduct our election. All we need is the will of the people to ensure that el elections will be credible, free, and fair. All right, Mr. Yobana. That is what this election has demonstrated. All right, you've made that point. But then the issue of the conduct of the elections, you made the point about a judicial interference. Now, a court order, whether it's right or wrong, needs to be obeyed. So the election, that, that local government election, that whole exercise, is it not an illegality because it was in direct disobedience of a court order? It's not. It was not the disobedience to the court order. The, the court in Abuja, the Federal High Court in Abuja, restricted INEC from giving RISEC, the River State Independent Electoral Commission, giving them the register. That was what they did, restricted them from having the register. The River State Electoral Commission already had the register of 2023. So I don't know what they are restricting RISEC to do. And there is no law anywhere that says that RISEC cannot go ahead to conduct the election. Even the judgment they are referring to did not stop RISEC from conducting the election, did not say that RISEC should not go ahead with the election. It only said that the police should not provide security and that INEC should not give them the voters' register, which is, was belated because they already had the register. RISEC had announced the elections, had planned the, the schedule, uh, candidates have already started screening. So that judgment came. It was belated because we already had the voters register. This same register has been used by 10 other states without any issue. So why is River State a peculiar case? So there's nothing like flaunting court order. There was no court. That court order does not hold water because a court of coordinate uh, 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 status and jurisdiction, the, 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 the River State High Court had already given research an order to go ahead and conduct election based on the Supreme Court judgment. And what we did in River State is to 
obey the Supreme Court judgment that said that local government cannot be, uh, cannot be uh, uh, headed by appointed uh, caretaker members. I was one of the members that was appointed at that time. But as we speak today, the Supreme Court had made it clear and there was a deadline set for it. And what we did was just merely to comply to the order of the Supreme Court and which the River State High Court gave uh, life to it by ordering RISEC to go ahead with the election. Now, so the order coming from Abuja High Court in the first place is, is, is of no consequence to the election that was held in River State. Besides the point that you have made, the judge said that the update and revision of the voter register ought to have been concluded before the election date. So, you are talking about a voter register used in 2023. There ought to have been a revision of a voter register before then. That was the point the judge was making when he gave that order not to release the voter register. What will be your reaction to that? The, the, the grand norm, which is the Constitution, says very clearly that no, 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 no court should stop an election from going on. And what the, the, uh, the, the judge in Abuja tried to do, he tried to stop the election through the back door, but it was belated. I just told you now that more than 10 states have used the same register to conduct local government election, and heaven did not fall. Nothing happened. Why is River State case different? So... If the judge liked, he should speak from both sides of his mouth. We know that most of these judgments that are gotten are judgments that they, they get it in the midnight. We don't, give, we don't care what they do in Abuja. We are, we, we are a federating uh, a nation uh, and a federating state. And it is, very, it is very critical for us to, for me to say this, that anything that touches on each unit of these federating states, like a component of the federating state, for instance, you talk about the local government or you talk about the state government. Anything that hampers governance at that level, it is something that can derail the democracy we are all talking about. Bola Ahmed Tinubu, that is a who is court the president order, of, uh, isn't it? Republic of Nigeria. Whether it's right or wrong, a court order is a court order. Doesn't it have to be obeyed? That's the point. The court order did not bar RISEC. RISEC had no business with that court order. It only barred INEC and police. And they did, they, they did obey the, the court order. So it has nothing to do with RISEC. The order did not say RISEC should not conduct the election. Okay, now there is so a bit of a the controversy. the order has nothing to do with RISEC. All right. So the, uh, the, the River State uh, election. Now, this is the scenario. The governor is a member of the People's Democratic Party. Now, the, uh, uh, the minister for the Federal Capital Territory, who is a political leader in River State, is uh, also a member of the PDP, so we seem to have two factions of the PDP. Apparently, the All Progressives Congress is also a force to reckon with in this state. But now, in the election, it is the APP that swept the polls and, of course, uh, wants it going to the... Action Alliance at the AA. Isn't it a bit of a confusion here yeah. that the incumbents, uh, the PDP in River State, actually came up very, very short in the local government elections? I mean, there is something just not right. Yeah, you, are very, you are very, very right. But let me put this on record. Out of the 19 political parties that uh, registered to participate, apply to participate in this election. One political party dropped out, which is the People's Democratic Party, which I'm also a member. We did not participate in the election. The reason is because there were plotting of court cases here and there, and there was division in the party. You had different people holding on to the party, Ketika here and Ketika there. And we knew that if we went into the election with the cases we have in court, we'll just be wasting our time. That is why. In this wisdom, the People's Democratic Party decided to pull out of the local government election. Now, that helped even for the governor, who is a member of the People's Democratic Party. To, to, he was not a participant in this election. His party was, did not participate. He is, a, he is one of the biggest losers in this election because his party did not win even one council or seat. But he decided that the will of the people of River State must prevail and that the third tier of government, which is very critical to the development of the, the, the communities and the state, they must elect their leaders. He didn't care which party. These persons who sought to 
run, run in APP or AA or which other party. They were all Rivers people. They are not strangers. They are not foreigners. So they know the problems of River State. And if any party wins, they are all Rivers people. They work together with the government at the center. So we don't have an issue with which, whichever political party wins the pool. What we wanted is that the will of the people must be protected and democracy must be protected. And that happened uh, yesterday. And today, the Ketika members, uh, the, the local government chairmen have all been sworn in. So we have a government in the local government that is duly elected according to the order of the Supreme Court. All right. So there is a, a bigger issue. So there the, is a very, the there's PDP, a bigger issue in the rivers in River State right now, and that is the conflict between the governor and the federal capital territory minister. See, when they say two, when two elephants fight, it is the grass that suffers. Now, if this uh, conflict is protracted, it is the people of River State that will be the losers in the long run. So local government elections or not, isn't it time for these two to bury the hatchet? Well, you know, the way they say it in the, in, when the elders say that, if elders are at home, a small child would not pick up a, a, a serpent to eat, thinking it's fish, you know. But you see, it is unfortunate that we have elders and we have leaders who claim that they have integrity and they feel that they can do whatever they like because they have all, in quote, federal might or they have the contacts. River State is one of the major source of revenue for this country. Anything that happens to River State and there is crisis in the state, it will affect the economy of Nigeria. We all know that. Now, for a minister serving under the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, he is an appointee of the president, to be disrupting the peace and stability of River State, it leaves much to be said because the minister has a job. The governor was elected for a four-year tenure to serve the people of River State and administer the state affairs for that four years. What you're Can't saying is just the president an allegation. It is, not, uh, it is not proven. So we have to say it is allegedly. The, the, minister, the, minister, the, minister, the minister has said it several years. He said that, that he's the government disrupting, is he's, he's disrupting activities in River State. Yes, he is. <laughs> now come. He led a protest just day for yesterday. He and his men led protest day for yesterday, and, right. and tomorrow they have planned that they are going to evade the twenty-three local governments. Okay, we'll wait for that to happen. So he but keeps at this point. Problem. Thank you so very much. I will wait for that to happen, but then I am very sure that wouldn't, be case, that wouldn't be the case. But then, thank you so very much, Mr. Yobana, for your contribution to this discussion. It's actually been very, very enlightening. Thank you so very much for joining us.